Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. Today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to do a speed design of this USA koozie. The 4th of July is coming up soon and I need to keep my drink cold. So I'm not going to give you an exact play-by-play, -play, but um, basically I just created a sketch so I could extrude the stripes of the flag up. And now I'm using the pattern tool to create 13 of those stripes. So they're all individual bodies. And I did that so it would be easier to color once I get it into my slicer. Here I'm drawing a sketch. I have to create the canton of the flag, which is that blue part. So I select that uh, profile, that sketch profile, and I'm going to extrude it down seven stripes. And now I can use the combine tool to cut the canton away from those top stripes. Next, I'm going to go into the surface tab and I'm going to patch that bottom of the koozie and uh, join it with the solid body, just adding a few chamfers here. And the next part was really the trickiest part of this build. I need to create the USA, but I want the letters USA to be separate bodies. So I drew a sketch on an offset plane and then I'm going to emboss it onto the koozie. And from there, I'm going to actually use the surface tab again, and I'm going to select the surface of the USA and create an offset, uh, but I'm not actually going to offset it. So you can see I have these surface here, these surfaces here, and then I'm going to thicken them up. Now I've got an actual solid body for the USA. It does uh, extrude or it does stick out from the canton still, and here I'm just naming them so I don't get confused. So. To fix that, I'm just going to draw a sketch. Uh, I'm going to draw some rings. That way I can extrude those rings down to cut the uh, those bodies flush with the koozie, if that makes sense. So there you can see I just cut those USA. I thought I had to do it in the back, but I didn't need to. Get everything turned back on, and from here I'm basically just going to uh, cut the USA letters out of that blue canton using the combine tool, renaming things again so I have everything labeled right. One thing I didn't do here is label the red and white stripes, which will bite me in the butt a little bit uh, in the slicer. Just adding a little air hole so I don't get some suction when I put my can in there. And here I'm just don't really need to do this. I could just do this in the slicer, but I wanted to render a photo. So I'm just coloring all of these bodies and I'll jump into the render tab and do a really quick render so I can use it for a thumbnail. Once the render's done, I can save it to my desktop, head back into the design tab and export this to Bamboo Studios. I'm gonna be printing this on my H2D, so uh, the two nozzles really help speed up these multicolor prints. So here I'm just getting my uh, filament right and the right color, and I can go into the Objects tab, and this is where this design, or designing like this is really helpful because now I can just color each individual body exactly how I want. I don't have to paint anything in the slicer, which which is a huge, which is a huge plus. So okay, let's hit slice. And I, I'm sorry, I gotta change a few settings first. Looks like I am just changing the infill and some other minor stuff. Hitting slice, I'll send this to the printer and then I will show you the finished result. <laughs> 